All right, so I'm going to create a piecewise function using GeoGebra. Uh, it's really straightforward. You can see I've got um, one, two, three, four, five, six functions here, and I want to combine them all into a single function. Now, when I combine them all into a single function, it's going to look like this. All right, and you can see that looks very nice. We've just got one little continuous function rather than that rubbish that we had just a second ago. And the way we're going to do it is with this function here. If condition, function, condition, function, condition, function. Uh, now, I've already created it once, but I'm going to create it all over again here. So the way that I do it, I go into my input window. I'm going to write P of X. Now, it can be anything, Q of X, T of X, S of X. But we're just creating a function. Now, I've already used F, G, H, J, K, L, I. So I haven't used P yet, so that's a good letter to use. So P equals if, open a bracket, and this is where I start doing my conditions. Now, from uh, 0 to 13, 0 to less than or equal to, so I'm using less than or equal to there, um, x is less than 13. And so that's my condition. And then my function is just this, this function here, f. Now, you can write f of x in there, but you can also just write the letter f, and that'll work. Okay, uh, now comma, and then my next condition. X is less than or equal to, oh, oopsie, not that. Um, 13 is less than or equal to X is less than 17.3, comma, uh, and I want G to be in that section. All right, I might do one more and then hit uh, equal so you can see what it looks like. So 17.3 less than or equal to x, which is less than 36. Uh, and in that section, I want h. All right, I'm type h in there. I'm going to stop here. Okay. Now, I've got three so far. Let's see what it looks like when I unhide, when I hide all of these. Okay, you can see I'm halfway there. Now, I'm going to click it and it opens up and it looks like this and I can just keep working in here. Okay, uh, comma, uh, the next one I need is 36 is less than or equal to x which is less than 48 and for that one I'm going to put in the function j and then the next one is 48 is less than or equal to x which is less than 55 and I'm going to put in the function k and then the next one is 55 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 65. And I'm going to put in the function L and cross my fingers. All right, and we have a nice little function right there that you can see looks like that. Now I've just neatened that up a little bit. Uh, I don't know why, but I've just gone in um, double clicked that and then when I just clicked apply a second time it just went into this this mode rather than showing half of the functions okay that's a simple way of creating a piecewise function if condition function condition function condition function you need to make sure that you're using that less than or equal to in the beginning of each one and also a less than or equal to at the end of the last one because you really want to capture that first one and that last one as well.